So I wanted to take the time also to give y'all a skin update video because it's been a minute. Um, so actually, if you see my previous videos, you know that I've done Accutane a couple of years ago and the transition has been amazing as far as the way my skin looks like you can see my skin is my skin's clear as a mug like i'm so happy and so so much in, in a positive spirit and just feel so good about myself just because the way that it looks like it's it hasn't been like this before now if you've also seen my videos you know that i've i've had keloids and i previously had gotten the keloid surgery but my keloids have come back but i just love the way that my skin looks and then also as far as the way that like my facial hair is growing in, just the clearness of my skin and the products that I'm using just, it makes me feel so hype. Like it's lit, it's lit as a mug, like it's, it's crazy. But um, I definitely just want to give y'all an update of how everything looks and just tell you like, if you're going through this, this video is for you. Please check out my previous videos, but I like to be organic with it. Like I'm in the car right now. I just want to just show y'all that real, like while I'm sitting here um, in my whip. Boy got the fresh cut too, so you already know how we coming. But as far as my face, like you can see here, as far as the clearness of my skin, like my skin has never been that this clear. And what I've primarily been using is um, I'll use rose hip oil, rose hip seed oil. Make sure you get the rose hip seed oil. And also I've been mixing that um, with a little bit of argan oil. And um, from time to time, I throw in a little bit of, um, what's that? Uh, that's terrible. I can't even think of it at the moment. But there's another product that I use as well. J uh, castor oil. So I use the organic um, Jamaican castor oil. So I may throw a little bit of uh, a dab in there from time to time as far as on my whole face. But as far as my main regimen, I use the rosehip seed oil. Then I use, uh, I mainly use that. So I'll put a, a couple dabs in my hand and then um, dilute it with a little bit of water and put it on my face, usually in the morning. Um, and then sometimes I'll do it at night. And then sometimes at night is when I'll put the argan, uh, the argan oil with it and then put it on my face. But that's when I use the um, organic Jamaican castor oil. So I use that at night just on like around my beard area to help the hair grow. Um, and then also with the hair growth as well too, I'm using biotin. So again, just going through, I use the rose hip seed oil mainly in the morning. So just take a couple dabs of that or a couple droplets diluted with water. Boom, that goes over the face. Um, that's pretty much it for the day. And then at night, um, I'll either go ahead and put take a couple dabs of that again, and then take a couple dabs of the argan oil. Um, put it on my face and then I'll also take some of that Jamaican castor oil a couple of dabs of that and put it on um, the spots where my um, facial hair is growing in so now if we look as far as the keloids you can see where the keloids have come back um, and the keloid skin just runs in the family but something that's been good about that is so what I've seen is with the keloids there's a lot of ingrown hairs that grow underneath it so whenever that surgery was done and then it's healing Something that I didn't do, and this may be helpful for somebody that may be going through the surgery, I didn't have any type of cream that I was using um, to put over top of it while it was healing. So that could be a potential thing as to why they may have um, grew back without any type of topical um, thing to, to compress it down. But um, what I have noticed is sometimes I have to take get the ingrown hairs out out of the keloids because what's happening is that the hairs are growing inside of it and curling in and that's what's causing these bumps so what I've seen is when I take the tweezers and get some of the ingrown hairs out some of the keloids actually go away so these were a lot thicker over here um, previously but then when after getting the ingrown hairs out they went down a whole lot so this one over here as well um, it's a little bit thick right now but some of these have gone down um, so it actually the keloids now look bigger than they did when I had uh, my initial surgery, but it just looks better as far as the way my skin's clear and then the way my facial hair is growing in. So hopefully I can get these removed um, again soon or find some type of cream that I can use to be able to get this to go down a little bit further. But overall, I'm so satisfied with my skin. I mean, it just, it's, it's totally different. Like I can't complain at all. Even the way that my hair is looking, like my hair is healthier. Also for my hair, 
what I'll do is I'll take some of the rosehip seed oil as well, a little bit of argan oil, and then also a, a little bit of, of a dab of that Jamaican castor oil, put it in there as well too, boom, and that's it. So make sure your hair is a little bit damp, boom, throw that mug in there and you smooth. Pick it out, smooth for the day, get my little... Uh, Get my little sponge from time to time, you know what I'm saying? Get the curls going, get it popping. But um, yeah, so that that's pretty much um, an update about my skin. If you have any questions, definitely please drop them below. Again, I just failed in the spirit today, so I want to be able to help somebody out. Any questions? If you um, you know, want me to provide any type of vulnerability, any honesty as far as the process, I'm definitely willing to share that with you. I have older pictures as well if you want to see those. But again, these videos are to help somebody out. I don't know who may see them. Nobody may nobody may see this video, um, but if you do, just know that I went through the process. I know how it feels. Um, if you feel like you know, man, I'm not really attractive, or you know, this is just really kind of tearing me down, you're gonna get through it. I promise. So we're gonna build up that self esteem and that self confidence, and we in it together. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Peace, y'all. Blessed day.